Let's just remember that even though, even though she can't pay the day, Nansu, Nansu, a comfort the day. We have everything, but a comedy. Now, I mean, did you say? Today, I stand here to tell you that Guineans, because we have everything, but we're not making use of what we have, we are suffering. We are talking. And we are being told that she can't pay the day. I said this years ago, but I don't realize she can't pay the day, but I come. So, a comedy here, Mr. President. What should we do? Let's arise, all of us, let's arise and build together to avoid the looming national disgrace. It's coming. Colleagues, we have no other option but to work hard to ensure that the disgrace coming. Our children shouting, having no food to eat, no job to do. Those of us who are older, in the sense that we have seen something before, when things were so rosy, we were disgraced before these children. I'm here to appeal to you. That she can't pay the day and so a calm every day. And the children will disturb us, we can't sleep. When your children are <laughs> crying, how can you sleep, Fritz? So I'm here to say that let us get together, work together, rescue the Iran economy, which we can do to avoid the looming national. This grace. Thank you very much. And may the Lord go, <laughs> may the Lord Almighty, the King of Universe, who is in charge of everything, listen to our prayers. May He, Elohim, Hashem, have mercy on us, Guineans. Open our minds, give us ideas to lift this economy and allow Ghana, the eagle, to soar again. Mm -hmm.